So you want to find out how to unlock a terminal in Fallout? Well, here we go. So what we're looking for in this screen here is the password. Now you'll see these words, they're kind of hidden in the text here. We have ready, sword, server, they'll highlight as you hover over them, heavy. So we'll start with a random word, Let's start. It says likeness equals one, which means the word start has one letter in the same position as the actual password. So either the S, the T, the A, the R, or the T. So next we're gonna look for words with similar letter positions. Uh, server, both starts with an S and none of the other letters match. So let's try server. No, but server has two letters that are the same position as the actual password. So now we're gonna look for a word that has two letters in the same position, the S, the E, the V, the E, the R, or the start word. Sword starts with an S, but does not have any other likeness. So spear has the S and the R in the same position. So if you look at two S's, the two R's line up, and that was it. So another example, we'll try ment, likeness of zero. So the next word I'm gonna try with the three remaining attempts is finding a word that does not match ment at all. None of the letters match the position. So obviously it cannot be crane because the two ends line up. Tribe could be a good attempt as two likeness. So we're looking for a word that has two letters in the same position as tribe, but none of the letters match meant. Small does not. Brute has E in the same position and the R in the same position. I'm in. And that was it. So you're just looking for similarities between the attempted words. And one more attempt here. Goods, glass. Let's start with glass. Two of the letters in glass match the password of the computer. So it cannot be class over here because there's three that match in the position. The A-S-S, not the L-A-S-S. -S. So we're looking for a word with two similars, glass, goods, the G's match and the S's match. Yes. And just like that. So let's say you get locked out. You'll back out of the terminal, and look, it says this terminal has locked you out, and if you just wait a few moments, you'll be able to go right back in and try again. Or, if you have Nick Valentine, Hey, I'm listening. You can tell him to unlock the terminal unlock for you. Terminal. Sure thing. Nick will also unlock terminals that are above your level. Bingo. And just like that, he's unlocked the terminal for us. And I can go in and control the turrets, whatever uh, information was on that terminal. So let's say you come across a terminal that's too high of a level for you. Won't be able to hack this. It is a master terminal. I am not that high of a level. I can just command Nick Valentine hey, to do it. There's something you need? I think you can unlock that terminal. Can do. Some serious subroutines running on this box, but maybe... Bingo. And just like that, the terminal's unlocked for us. Now, Nick does not always get it done. He can't fail as well, but he has a higher chance of doing it. And just like that, door's open. And in order to unlock higher level terminals yourself, you scroll down here on Fallout 4, down to the hacker, you just... Put points into hacker, and the more points you have, the higher the difficulty of terminal you can unlock. I hope that helps you get the basics of unlocking terminals down. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking this out.